Exhibit A. Um, Smith, play the clip uh, from Fox. When I think about uh, uh, Donald Trump, I think about this case in New York. I mean, I'm looking I'm looking at the Democrats right now. And again, primarily, I have voted Democrat throughout my life, but I'm utterly disgusted with what I'm seeing, because it seems to me that they're trying to use the law and the courts. They've clearly politicized this thing with Donald Trump because they can't come up with a strategy to offset the momentum. He's clearly gained in at least five polls. He's up. He's up in the polls over Biden, at least five polls that I counted. That's the reality of the situation. Despite the counts against them, the indictments against them being impeached twice and all of this other stuff, he is the presumptive GOP nominee. And you don't seem to have the issues in your favor, you believe. So because of that, you're going to manipulate the system as best as you possibly can to avoid him possibly running for re-election again that appears to be their strategy but i'm here to tell you it's not working mm. yeah where's where's the little paid uh, endorsement uh disclaimer no no no. uh <laughs> 866-801-8255 lamont king is here roderick morrow is here on his face uh if we're if we're calling strikes and and uh if we're calling a football game or basketball game Nothing wrong, you know. For me, though, there's too much at stake. There's too much at stake. So as soon as you give to me space for there be for there to be sympathy for a Donald J. Trump mm -hmm. who is in New York and the Letitia James case, whatever, like it's about time. How many people were have been hemmed up, audited for things far less than inflating, inflating their property value to go get loans? And right. then had the audacity to go bankrupt six times, which is in many ways you're you're defrauding people of money that you have contracted with them to pay, and then have gone to court and said, "I I'm not paying you." He's done that six times. There's a bad character there. That mm -hmm. now you're giving nuclear codes, which you had before. Thank God there was an. I'm, I'm not even going to say that. That you know we had to be sat down for a minute. That two of those years was like dealing with a pandemic that he tossed out the plan for. Mm -hmm. Too many people died that didn't have to die because the pandemic plan that was left for him, he did not use it. There was not enough PPP. There was not enough. There was not enough anything for people to manage it. And if you were in New York, you know what I'm talking about. We have short memories. Mm -hmm. So I'm not even talking about the deaths that too many people experience, mostly in our community. Mm -hmm. Managing geopolitically, you're you're buddying up with North Korea. You, you're having these you know proxy wars with folk like China. You're you, you're in love with Putin. Is that good for America? Netanyahu mm -hmm. was definitely bolstered by you because your son-in-law wants to make beachfront property out of the Gaza Strip, which we've mm -hmm. heard out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. you're, you're connected to that. That's your favorite daughter's husband, mm -hmm. whose daddy went to jail for similar things. This is not Trump. These aren't trumped up cases. The one right. where he told the man that was the secretary of state of Georgia to find extra votes. That is tampering. He's tampered with witnesses. These cases, the facts of the cases are not frivolous. Now, where he's right is the Democrats have no strategy. Mm -hmm. But that still puts us to me in jeopardy for you to go on or Fox, which is the highest rated uh, cable news outlet, which is all of these mother freakers only watch anyway. And when I say these mother freakers, these mm -hmm. cult uh, followers, you're now engendering them with another talking point that they didn't have that you came up with. For what purpose? There's yeah. a lot at stake. And here's the thing. I mean, this is my last thing. When you have that much money, but also you are in league with people who are powerful, you're going to be okay. Yeah. But what about the rest of us? Yeah. And I may be okay. Let me just say that. I'm not even talking to somebody that, yes, I have a passport. I can... I'm not okay with everyone else not being okay. So let mm -hmm. me just say that. It is personal to me. So I can't just sit back and go, okay, I like you as a person, but this rock, Stephen A, is dangerous because I see what's going to happen in November, and maybe the world won't end because it happens a little bit, a little bit, a little bit at, at a time. Maybe it won't happen immediately, would but that you, would be the die cast. You think he would have he would have said that on, on another platform? You think he would have what said what he said on anything other than Fox? Yeah, I think I think I think Stephen really? A says the things that he says with his full chest. I think he believes uh I think he believes what he's saying. I mm -hmm. think and, and then the more I'm watching, 
I think he believes what he's saying, you know, and I'm, I'm hearkening back. I'm just thinking about my career as a, as a columnist and, and you can absolutely be sold into bought into an ideal. I was literally writing editorials for Mark, Mort Zuckerman, literally writing in his voice. Okay. Mm. And at some point his voice becomes your voice. Right. The day that that changed for me was the night that Amadou Diallo got shot. I'm sitting in my in, at my desk and I'm reading our editorial because it's the lead editorial and I'm seeing the cops don't rush to judgment. They had this and the crime and all of this and this black man. It was a dark vestibule. They, they you know, they had a right Giuliani. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. And I grabbed the, the proof, went into my boss's office and I said, we're, we're printing this. This is going out to the public. There's no, there's no, where is the humanity for the man? There's 19 bullets. Where is that? I mean, it was a sh shouting match. Anybody could hear it. And we were going at it. And I was crying because I was so angry and I felt so powerless in that moment. And then I'm part of something, right? Mm. I'm part of something. My name's on, my name's secretly <laughs> among the editorial board. I'm there. And I just couldn't understand how we could write this and not have any moment for this man. Mm. He's dead. 19 bullets. I said, could it happen in your neighborhood? You live a few, you know, just a mile away. Could could cops unload their guns, reload them and fire in your neighborhood? Mm. Could they do that? And he sat back in his desk because maybe he never considered it. Right. Of course. For the first time, he was like, OK, you you write two paragraphs. And I got to write two paragraphs in that Amadou Diallo editorial. But it was in that moment that I was like, I have to speak up and I can't sit here and be happy to just be here because it's easy to parrot what people are telling you because you know in many ways you're pleasing the power base and then you're giving them coverage as well because they're going to reward you for saying the things and making them comfortable because see I knew you were a good one because you agree with me but what they don't realize is that in the challenges where they grow and that's why newspapers fail. And that's why all of these TV shows are failing. And that's why all of the ratings are bad because you can't trust anybody. Everyone's yeah. parroting the thing that they're being paid to parrot because we learn just as children, we learn which we can't use mama's dishes and we can't, you know, the certain things we can't do in the household. There's no damn list somewhere that you got to read. You just know it, right? You know what you, what your mama will and will not put up with and your daddy will and will not put up with. So you, 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 the same thing happens in the, in the workplace where you, there's certain cues, you see who's being promoted, who's being put out front and how they're moving. And then you you mirror that movement and then you see, oh, success is happening. I didn't get on an editorial page just because I was talented, even though I was talented. How'd you get there? I worked the room. Oh, okay. I went to the, to the, to the, to the place that was where I was the only black person at their, at their dinners and at their, you know, as, as, as much as I am, there's there's more ways in which you can move in the world. And I learned now for me in that moment, I had to figure out how to show up fully. And at the same time, and it's why I quit <laughs> too, mm. by the way, you know, um, but you know, at some point, somebody's got to be there and hold, hold the fire to the feet and not enough people do it because the checks are delicious. Get Stephen A. on the phone right now. See if he'll, yeah, we need to talk this out. Let's talk this I, out. I always, I, the thing that always strikes me in these uh, discussions, I guess, or whatever, you know, when you're on Fox News and you parrot in those points, Stephen A. Smith is normally one of the most, like, detailed, stat-oriented, like, causal, can can tell you every reason what LeBron James did this, that, and when Michael Jordan did that. But when it comes to the to the politics, boy, it'd be platitude at the play. It'd get real basic. Like, you know, that these trumped up chart. Which case? Yeah. Which, which, which one? Is it the election stealing one? Is it the E. Jean Carroll one that he was found guilty of basically twice at this point? Like, is it is it the, the one about inflating the money? Is that it? You know, like which which case are we talking about? Is it the documents case? Like, which which case are we talking about that Democrats just made up? Did the insurrection happen or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, was that man not telling them I'm gonna meet y'all down there or not? Like, on that's TV. the on TV. Like, yeah. that's the part where he plays stupid. He won't get detailed about it, 
you just talking a couple platitudes and the dumb people will fall for it. They, mm -hmm. they hear his inflection, you know, how he delivers everything. He's, he turns everything into sports is, you know, when Donald Trump and them boys or whatever, and then everybody, Oh, okay. But at the end of the day, man, you, it just seemed like you providing cover because I have to ask, are you stupid or are you complicit? Like at that point, like, cause I, I find it very unlikely that he suddenly is just dumb. Cause he seems oh, he's, not. he's not. He's not dumb. So many, right. No, he's not. So he's now not I have to he's wonder. He, he saw five you, polls. Five ones he saw. Right. Five. So what's in it Which for polls? you to play dumb in this moment? Like you're I mean, but the to polls this, do put the all. Most of the polls have Trump ahead. A Biden. Yeah, that. But you know what's funny? You know, about but I that? don't. I don't go polls are for strippers. That's always been my line. <laughs> yeah. But if if you are used to reading stats, that's what you're gonna see, right? Well, also, and then. How often does that become the truth? You know what I'm saying? If you say a thing long enough, then it becomes mm -hmm. the truth. Well, what and this stats, is what my fear is. What stats do we ignore, though? Right? Because we also have six years of Republicans losing elections now. We have multiple special elections this year, right? Like these yeah. last few months with them losing seats off of the fact that they banned abortion and the fact that people don't want to vote for all this MAGA shit no more. So, like, you we got a lot of it's just what you want to glom on to because there's and this this is why i fight steadfastly to stay factual because it's imperative in the moment right now where so much is about lying on social media mm -hmm. so much is about cherry picking your own reality and then you live in your little bubble and even on our side where you got more progressive people there's a lot of doom scrolling there's a lot of naysaying people want to live in the negative it's all bad it's gonna only be bad mm -hmm. but but there's we have factual moments where people went and voted for real not a poll like you went, you got out your house or you mm. mailed in your ballot and we see the results over and over and over of people rejecting this nonsense. And yet here we go with the black people going to vote for Trump. Da, 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 da. Where's the where's yeah. the evidence? Like is, a poll is uh, not Ellie evidence. Must, Ellie Mastal was on yesterday, um, 866-801-8255 and basically said the same thing, you know, I, for me, though, sitting here every day, and I'm not, uh, again, this is not about Stephen A. or yeah. or uh, The Rock or any, it's about us, right? It's really about us and also how we allow for people to talk about us. Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. I am so sick and tired of quote-unquote media because, again, news doesn't really exist anymore, asking questions of people. Now, he's not, he's not a rapper, mm -hmm. but, like, can we get, you know, can we get a political scientist like at the, this is, yes. you know, it's insulting. On some I saw one the other day and it was Neo. I oh, said, yeah. you saw that too. Y'all don't listen to Neo for nothing. Y'all don't even listen to Neo music at this point. Why is he on my TV sitting behind a desk talking about black people not fitting the vote? Like, Stop oh with the bullshit. We don't do this to nobody else. You would never look on TV and they got Jackie Chan, or you look on TV and it's Andrew Dice Clay. Like they, they like that's an entertainer. Why would we ever talk to him? When it comes to black people, it's like they roll a dex, go straight to the casting list. Like, okay, so get the rock. Uh, let's see who, who else got uh who else who else got an album and needed needs some promotion. Let's get them that's on it. here. That's Crazy. what it is. Well, it's up to us to say enough of this, enough. There's too much at stake. And this is why, you know, in a, in a normal election cycle, perhaps this is this is great fodder, it's great television, but there are literal lives. And I'm not just talking about our lives and our rights. I'm saying, like, there, there are people right now who, I mean, we need a plan for the border. We need a plan for homelessness. We need a plan. Like, we need to have somebody that cares about people. And this conversation is not helpful. And that's got to be the litmus test. Is this look helpful? Look at all the people. Look at the people that's sharing it too, because you go look at the people that's sharing that clip, and you see a list of people that just are. They do not mess with us. Mm. It's just a list of people being like, "Finally, Stephen. I normally don't like Stephen, A., but he's making some great points." And it's people that have said some of the worst things you've ever heard about black folks. Paired in his trash, man. It's it's sad, and he got the clicks and. He got us to talk about it or whatever. I guess, you know, help he'll help get his YouTube views or whatever, whatever greedy bull crap that he's out for when you do something like this. I that residual is gonna come to him, but I feel like it's imperative to talk about these things instead of ignore them because you ignore them and they just keep growing and it grows unchallenged. 
This is why I want everyone to have enough money so they don't ever have to do stuff. But maybe it's my money. Maybe maybe it's attention. Yeah, you gotta know. Yeah, Yeah. I was gonna say maybe it's attention. Is it attention? Maybe you know, because you're not relevant unless you have clicks and stuff, right? And and I've been fighting. I've been fighting this for a while too. You know, it's like, oh, somebody I've never heard of you before, and I'm like, okay, that's 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 fine. (laughs) Does does that mean I'm not valuable? Because you've right. never heard of me? Does it mean you I'm did. not doing good work? Because you've never heard? Like, at, at some point, we're going to have to value the work that we do. Right. Whether people see it now or 100 years from now, to my point when I started the show, like, what contribution are you leaving when you close your eyes? And that's got to be enough. That's got to yeah. be enough. And all these people, to Roderick's point earlier, who say they like you, I, I, this is a speech I give to, you know, like when Clay, when he first started, I was like, don't focus on the people that hate you because right. 10% of people going to hate you no matter what you say. You can say mm-hmm. the best thing in the world, 10%, you're trash. And don't fall victim of the people that love you because mm-hmm. 10% of the people going to love you no matter what you do, wrong, right, or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's the folk in the middle every day that you're really talking to. And it's not the mm-hmm. callers, because most people never call a radio mm-hmm. show, which is why people, oh, you treat the callers over, and I'm like, yeah, it's, calling's a privilege. You mm-hmm. you weren't invited as a guest, so you come in, <laughs> however you come in, you get what you get. <laughs> but most people are sitting in their cars yelling at the radio, they'll never call a radio show. So I never yeah. really focus on the callers unless, you know, if they want to engage, we'll engage. But that's not how you run. You run this based on the work and getting the messages out that we need to talk about Hopefully the callers will add to it, but don't depend on them. Eight six six eight zero one eight two five five. I give out the number. I give out the number.